kid and you're asking like, what do we do about? Is you sign a contract with someone. So real quick, before you did that, did you... More than 30 years. I got my real estate license in the... Um, and your your origin story. Is that he uh, he made an age joke the last time we were... Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna use that KUKA. You know, I, I'm a little more strict with what I'm, I'm looking at. Uh, Okay. Right. So, so we got all that. Um, we're coming up to the end. I, I just want to know, like, I essentially I just went through a whole whole deal with you from beginning to close. Um, what questions do you have? Do you have a a um, wholesale friendly title company? Yes. Okay. Um, yep. So for our areas, there are quite a few. Okay. For this area. Um, and I have no problem sharing those with you. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, you know, so just, we will re you can reach out to me separately. Um, Fine. I, and I have no problem. I don't really worry about that until you get the deal under contract. Right. Okay. Yeah, Cause there's a lot to do before that. Okay. Correct. Yep. All right. So in essence, then. I'm gonna I'm gonna get the business get the business finding houses, getting yep. a contract, and then I'll reach out to you for the rest of the the dispo and the rest of the yep. um, and you learn how to comp, learn how to comp. Okay, I am I am working on that. Yes, I am. So one thing yeah. I, I I I'll give you homework. Go on the MLS, and I'm not saying do MLS deals by any means. I'm not saying that, but go on the MLS. All right and start copying those deals at for an investor. All right. It's practice. The more you use that muscle, the better you become at it. Okay. Right. Okay. All right. So yeah. go on there. You can comp them through doing a freeway by Zillow, Redfin, all of that. All right. Okay. So, um, and, and go that route. How close is the, the zestimate usually so in the past it hasn't been close it's starting to get closer now but the thing is is that um i would still run your own comps don't worry about the zestimate at the moment okay all right now I here's a question though comps. how do you get past the zestimate if the if the seller says hey the estimate is 200 and you're offering them 150. How do you get past that? Sure. You say, yeah, that's no problem. That's 200 if it was fully redone and fully fully um, top notch HGT quality, so on and so forth. Is is that your property? Okay. If they said if they say okay. yes, then right. say, great, that's awesome. I'm not your buyer. Okay. Yeah. Um, you yeah. know, I recommend, you know what, if that's the way you want to go, guess what? I know a lot of great trustworthy realtors that I can put you in connect okay. with. Okay. And would you like me to do that? You flip it. Okay. On. Have you ever thought about getting your, your own real estate license? Yeah. Is I've thought a pro about it, or a con or it's a pro. Um, it definitely can be a pro. The problem, the, the thing is, is this, you need to concentrate on one thing at a time. Okay. Now, when, once you get the wholesaling done, once you do all that, then you can, want, you know, go on to do other things as well. All right. Um, concentrate on one thing at a time at the moment. All right. Like for instance, okay. the cold calling, only do cold calling right. at the moment. Don't get into text blast. Don't get into doing okay. this. Start off with one thing. Once you've mastered that, okay, or or you used all of it that you want, then go on to another. Okay. Test out another thing. All right. Okay. So okay. Again, keep that in mind. Okay. All right. That makes sense. Okay. Because right. if you start doing five different things 
SEO, this, that, you're going to be spending a lot of money and you're not going to be getting a lot of results because you're not putting the enough time and and amount of effort in each one that it deserves. I completely understand that now. Yes, that makes sense. Um, This has been a big help. Uh, This has been great information and a big Mm -hmm. help. And it gives me confidence knowing that there's someone local that I can reach yep. out. Hey, Randy, uh, I got this. What do I do? Or I'm ready to yep. JV or whatever. It helps to have that it, uh, immensely because this whole time I've been I've been learning and, and educating myself and and getting ready. I think, man, what happens if someone says yes? Then what what do I do then? So mm-hmm. having you you like, okay, I know Randy. I know Randy has yep. the answers. We can JV. It, 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 it help me get that first deal because then I can start going to town from that first deal. Right. Now, you said you're doing the astral flipping. Are they, do they have contracts for you? I I, I have to look because I'm just, I'm like halfway through the program. Um, okay. I'm sure they do, but I, I'll have to, I'll look into that because, because I, I, they, I mean, they, they blew my mind with all, all the information sure. they have. I mean, I got, I got this baby here. I mean, there's yep. all kinds yep. of, you know, look how big that thing Most is. Most definitely, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. That's a lot of information. Right. There's a lot of work with Astro Flipping. There's a lot of working with on-market stuff as well or yes. dealing with a lot of um, agents. Yeah. So I primarily do my business models off-market, doing the driving for dollars, calling or pulling lists, so on yeah. and so forth. Okay. I, I listen to the podcast – I listen to mm-hmm. the TTP to to the subject yep. to the sub two, all that. Yep. So and the, the what TTP I TTP people are really big on that. Yeah. So what I recommend again is this. Uh, I know we're coming up on the the, the time here, but I I, I really want to leave okay. you in a good place. Okay. Is remember what I said. Concentrate on one thing, and go for it. All right. So. If you're going to go after on market, okay, go after on market. But if you're gonna do the off market stuff, that's perfectly fine too. All right. Okay. All right. What I'm saying is, is concentrate on one niche on what you're doing, and mm-hmm. go from there. You can you can that- do the you can do the driving for dollars and do the off market, and then once you stop doing that, now if you want to pivot to. Uh, uh, contacting agents, great. Okay. So spend about, but you got to dedicate time to each one. Don't just right. willy nilly go over it. like, okay, I'm going to spend two to three hours cold calling off market. Now I'm going to spend an hour, two hours on uh, cold. I'm going to cold call agents. Okay. Okay. How You're still cold calling. Week? What is your average week that you dedicate to this business? Okay, so I spend a, I treat it like a full time business. Okay. okay, I'm constantly, um, I'm constantly doing things. Now, my I'm at a place right now where I have a system set up where I have a virtual assistant cold calls for me. Oh. Okay, and then they send me the leads that basically anybody who says yes that I want to sell. Whether it's good or bad, if they say yes, they they'll send it. Okay, um, she'll send me all the information, whether it's qualified or not, and then I follow up with them within twenty four hours. Okay. Okay. That's all my right. process. You have to develop your own process. Okay. I like what all you're right. saying, though. I mean, I like the exactly. VA thing. Yeah, but the reason why I don't recommend people start off with that is because your VA is only as good as you train them. So you have to do it first, okay, before, and that way you know how to train them. That makes, okay, I yeah, I can see that. And and I I, I like the way you said one thing at a time, do some baby steps, get that figured out, and just keep building from that first baby step. And I think my first baby step, and and we talked about it, it makes total sense, is direct to seller, driving for dollars, yes. cold calling, 
Now, my understanding that there's a there's a bigger spread from direct to seller than there is for agent outreach. There that usually is. Uh, okay. Yeah, there usually is, but every I'm going to be honest with you, it, it's all subject to every deal. It has its own quirks. Okay, I'm going to just be honest. Okay. It's not a. It's not a. If I go direct to seller versus I go to just agent outreach and I'm going to get a different type of spread. Every deal has its own quirks and it has its own spread. Okay. okay. If you can make it work, make it work. If you can't, you can't. Okay? okay. Now in every deal that I do, I also try to bring in my knowledge of creative financing, uh, other alternatives. If, I, if we can't come to terms on price, okay. For a cash offer. Okay. I try to figure out other solutions for them to help them out. Okay. 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 Now, sometimes that solution does not go with me. And what I mean, what do I mean by that? Yeah. Okay. Sometimes it's better for them to put it on the market. Okay. To get the price that they want. And if they do that, where are they going to get the, the agent's name from? You. Yep. And then that now I'm going to, and they'll give me a marketing fee. Okay. If they sell it. Okay. Okay. What's what? Now, it's not going to be much. It's not going to be much by any means. Okay. But even if it's nothing, now you've built a relationship with that, with that agent at the very least. Which is valuable. Right. It's probably worth okay. more than the 1500 you would get from the marketing fee. Exactly. Okay. So, so keep that in mind. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room 